it's Friday, July 16th, and it's the last day that I am teaching my AP course for the teachers. Whew, it's been a crazy week. I think we came through it pretty well. Um, whew, we got a half day today, and then we have to finish getting ready for my trip, which I'm super excited about. We got our first fueling today. Um, so this is the Nutribullet cup. So I think they're a little bigger than if you've got a Magic Bullet cup. Um, so there's they're bigger to begin with. This is the extra large one. Um, so the max line is way up here. So it's still just one fueling because it's just the vanilla shake. But then I put um, like two handfuls of ice. I put the iced coffee like just under the max line and then dump the shake in. So instead of like a creamy, delicious vanilla shake, I have um, like an iced coffee drink that has a little vanilla creamy flavor. Like you used it like your creamer, um, which I like better because again, I like the bigger shake. But if you just want a delicious creamy shake, then you follow the directions and you get a smaller vanilla shake. Um, but if you use it to flavor and cream your coffee, you get a giant shake. Mm. It's delicious. All right, I'm gonna get into my office, make sure I'm ready to teach this last little bit of this class and give grades by the end of the day, I think. So um, I will see you back here for few and two. Got a minute while we're on our last morning break of the APSI here. So I am going to enjoy this frosted cookie dough bar. Mm. I love everything about this bar except the fact that it's smaller than the other bars and that sometimes makes me sad. But I think I'll run out and see what the, the weather is like around here. Um, come back in here, finish up this lovely class, and I will see you for fueling three. Let's see what we're going to do for lunch today. Hooray! My first APSI is officially over. Whew, I think it went really well. I think that the teachers in my class enjoyed the class. Whew, I'm happy it's over because it was very stressful, but also kind of looking forward to doing it again next summer. So that's pretty cool. I got our lunch fueling here. I made the chocolate chip pancake into a waffle. Um, taking a look at what's out of stock. It looks like we're gonna eat a lot of chocolate chip pancakes made into a waffle in the next couple of uh, weeks here. Um, but that's okay, because I, I ordered a couple extra boxes because that's what is waffleable right now. So that's what we did. We did a little egg, we did a little cheese. We'll enjoy our egg and cheese sandwich. I'm gonna try to bust out the grades for my class. I think I can get those done today. Maybe go get my nails done. Oh, the excitement never ends around here. And then I will see you for fueling four. Just got back from getting my nails done. So this is kind of just a neutral color to just kind of keep them clean. And if in a week on vacation, they get all scuffed up, you can't really tell. So that's pretty good. Uh, as a treat, I decided to mix the chocolate fudge pudding and the silky peanut butter shake together. If you double the instructions for the soft serve on the back. So I blended up about a cup of ice and you make that into this like snow cone consistency. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of water for the two and the two packets. So this will make two fuelings. I'll have half of it now and then put the rest in the freezer and have the half of it for dessert after the lean and green. Whatever that might be. All right, so we're gonna put the pudding in. I'm gonna put the peanut butter in. We made this while I was visiting Christina. She had a bunch of peanut butter shakes. Um, I know peanut butter shake is out right now, but if you got some kicking around, if you're like me and the peanut butter shake by itself is not your favorite, you might have a couple laying around. And this is a 
fantastic way to use them. All right, I got my half a cup of water. I'm gonna dump it in there. I'm gonna blend this. You don't want anything to still be ice snow cone. So you gotta blend this really, really well. So let me do that, I'll be right back. All right, once you've got it all blended up, a nice trick is to put the two fuelings into the two pans you get with the brownies and the cookies and the swirls. I don't microwave anything, so I have a million of them. So I'm gonna divide this up into two of these, enjoy one and put some probably foil over the other one and enjoy that tonight. All right, day before vacation, Lena Green, we're calling this, what was in the fridge? <laughs> so I had a bunch of spinach. Um, I had some turkey pepperoni, a little bit of Colby cheese, put a little bit of light ranch dressing on that. And that is a beautiful Lena Green and I don't have to throw away the rest of the spinach, right? All right, uh, I'm gonna enjoy my lean and green. I'm gonna watch some of LA's finest. <sighs> Try to de-stress about traveling. <laughs> I'm so much better once I get through security. So, a couple hours, a couple hours. All right, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna enjoy this and I will see you back here for second dessert. All right, here is the second serving of the chocolate pudding mixed with the peanut butter shake. Um, because we made this for fueling four, it was just a solid block. So I just popped it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. Uh, now I think I went a little too far in the other direction because now it's a little soupy, but mm, it's really good. So if you have those two fuelings, I highly recommend you mix them together make an ice cream soft serve. Remember to count it as two fuelings and enjoy that as a dessert. Well, I am gonna get out of here and enjoy my vacation. So I will not see you for the rest of July. I hope you have a wonderful July and stick to program. And I look forward to talking to you in August and seeing what your August goals are. I have a feeling I'm gonna have some pretty big August goals um, after this vacation, <laughs> but that's okay. We can get back on program and work on those goals. So I will see you in August.